a brand new function for you to play around with in Google Sheets, but you do need access to Gemini's AI plan. Let's have a look at it. Now here you can see on the computer, I have generate data with Gemini in Google Sheets. Now it does need to be mentioned, this is only available to business standard and plus, enterprise standard and plus, as well as customers with Gemini Education, Gemini Education Premium, and the Google AI Pro and Ultra plans. If you do have access to these plans, or if you are on a school domain that has access to this, then you can start using this in your Google Sheets. What does it look like? Well, here I have an example. This is a sheet. I have a title for a video. Now, these are all fictitious video titles, but hey, I might use them and I might make these videos later. We have some content descriptions. So this is a description for this video. And what I now need to do is I want to create my tags or my keywords and a one sentence summary. So what I can do is here, I can type equals AI because I'm going to call the AI. I'm going to then open my brackets and I can put in my full query. So between quotes, I'm going to say, um, generate 10 keywords based on the video description in CSV format, because I want it to be comma separated. I'm going to close my quotes, comma, and now I'm going to give it a range. What is the range I'm going to give? Well, I've mentioned the video description and that is in cell B2. So I'm going to type B2. I'm going to close my formula. Now when I press enter, you will see it is ready to load. And here we go. We have our 10 keywords based on this description and it has automatically done this for me. I can treat this like any other formula so I can now do a quick drop. I'm going to drop this down and it's going to automatically do this for each and every row in this sheet. So you can see it's automatically pulling these from Gemini using that AI integration. Are they perfect? Not at all. You can see here generating keywords is not supported. So this one obviously didn't quite work. Let's try that again. We're going to just pull this down. Let's try it one more time. And this time we do have a list of keywords. You can do this as many times as you want. Hover over one of these cells, click on it. And then here you can refresh and reinsert. So you can see we can refresh that and we get new keywords. You can also go in manually and then tweak these keywords. Let's do a one sentence summary. So let's do this again, equals AI, open it, and we are going to type our prompt. So we're going to say, write a short one sentence summary of this description. There we go. And we need to tell it where that description is. So comma, we're going to use cell B2 and close our formula. The formula is going to start running and here is our one sentence description. We can then drag this down and it's automatically going to run for all these rows in a single sentence. Double check it and then you can use it however you want. The equals AI function. So if you have access to AI integration in your Google Workspace domain, try this out. Let me know how well did it work? What might you use this for? And how can you see this changing your workflow within Google Sheets? If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you'd like to join our YouTube member family, you can find the join the YouTube channel membership at the bottom. You'll get early access to all these videos. You can also support the channel and help create these videos each and every week by joining our Patreon community. So thank you to both our channel members and the Patreon supporters. So if you'd like to join our Patreon community where you get these videos completely ad-free and some additional information as well as documents documents, find that link in the description below. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.